Hello and welcome back to Steel Division 2. We are playing the German side in the Orsha campaign and are trying to save some parts at least of the Heeresgruppe Mitte. And um, last turn we had a battle in the north and were pretty much crushed and the airplanes we had were shot down. Um, I think we did somewhat decently still um, co still made them lose a lot of units um, a lot of soldiers on the way but in overall we lost that battle obviously um, this time we'll have to see now it's my turn and um, first of all let's look at the mechanics I have 25 reinforcement points and or command points and get 15 additional per turn and these are the reinforcements depending on the units that are here that I can order. It's like the 467th, uh, 76th uh, Infantry Regiment would be one. Sturm Division, Sturm Division has the Sturm Regiment 14. The 260th Infantry Division doesn't have reinforcements right now. Panzergrenadier Division 25 has Panzerabteilung 8 and Panzergrenadier Regiment 35 or 35. Okay, that would be tanks, I guess. Stuck. Okay, so mostly Stucks and Sturmhaubitzen. That's 25 points. No, 15 points, okay. I don't know what that 25 means, but 15 points. That's also 15, Panzergrenadier Regiment, what, what is this? Anti-aircraft self-propelled, well that's helpful I guess. And I think it, it has 12 of them, that's a lot as well. Um, mortars, anti-tank, heavy machine guns um, with the um, 42s. Uh, but this is only Panzerschreck, so no real heavy pack. They have 75, pack 40, but only three of them per regiment though, so nine in total. That's actually not that bad. Some infantry guns and some more anti-tank guns. Okay, so that might be a useful addition. Night Bomber Group and Front Recon Group I can currently have them. Front Recon is another like the ones I used. Fighter Bombers, Fighters and some Recon but not too many planes. And that's the same here, okay. Night Bomber Group is a lot of Stukas from what I see. And what is this? Okay, so those are air recon with light bombs. Air recon without armament. Yeah, I think so too, that some AA is probably helpful. Um, but I mean there are no dedicated anti-aircraft units available. So the best I can choose is something that has anti-aircraft units available like this for instance does oh well they still they also have three self-propelled guns but three guns is obviously not much if he decides to strike them once um, he should be able to take them out if he go, comes with one or two planes probably they, those anti-aircraft guns will probably only be useful if they aren't attack, attacked themselves so let's see the uh, 256 what do they have? Infantry guns, pack, three packs. What is this? Assault engineers? Gebalte Ladung, so um, pretty strong um, dead in, um, explosives. Do they, they aren't considered to have penetration, okay. That's interesting. So the Gebalte Ladung usually was used for anti-tank role. 
but here it it seems to be pretty useless against tanks it's probably just good for blowing up houses or something like that okay so that's like regular infantry nothing special same here some mortars and some of those ancient guns so that doesn't seem like a great choice but it's cheap okay so i could get this and another and a better unit at least that might be worth taking it though all those those are very cheap too yeah that's probably better to get more air force because i can use them more flexible i still haven't found out and i think it's impossible to split the units up to say that i'm that i am going to like send a few of them somewhere else air recon that's interesting i haven't seen that Remove into defined area and recognize all the Italians present for one turn. Okay. Regarding how weak they are for now, by now that seems to be a good choice to use them for the rest of the game. Okay, let's first check now. Um, I think I need actually, that's right, I need some anti-air. But the best the units have is like well that's 12 that's at least that's quite a number okay quite the other thing is i have no clue where he's going to use them and which units he's using them i haven't seen how and i don't see that the game shows it to me in any way unless until the battle has started so he might as well use the his um, strike planes in the north or he uses them somewhere in the in the south and if, even if that unit is present here with a lot of AA, um, I have to put it into that one battle. Um, and if the fighters don't come, the, the anti-air is useless. And if then he attacks this one and I don't have them anymore because I already used them in this battle, then they are useless again. So <laughs> I guess playing all around AA doesn't seem like a, like a great choice. Um, recon will be needed to see where he has tanks and to use my artillery because from what I see I can use them like to bombard to um, immobilize units I'm not sure whether like if I'm if this one is now at zero mobility points because it has fought is it is the the overall turn ending after my turn probably so if i bombard it uh, will it be completely refreshed and able to fight again i have no clue yet as said i have as i said in the beginning i basically have no idea how to play this game um, i'm pretty new to it so let's see first of all i think i need to s to move the units up but there might be partisans somewhere but i guess i can't keep them all in reserve I need to at least bring them forward somehow and I badly need infantry here and that the artillery is in the front line I really don't like that it's only one unit yeah so they can't fight they mustn't fight at all under no circumstances so I have to if the infantry in front of them is taken out I guess I have to retreat them with them I can't I don't I don't think they they I can pull them back once they are attacked without losses so what can I use bombardment for if the units refresh in the next turn it's probably only if I attack right if I bombard this now and and suppress it and I attack here then that unit can't join the battle, I guess. By the way, this one is completely out of points. This one is out of points. This one is also out of points. This one too. Um, I could basically attack here. But I mean, he can take those for reinforcements, I guess. And the other thing is, dig in, it's already dug in. The other thing is, um, if the units refresh and I bombard them, will they be? Uh, is it does it even make any sense to bombard them without attacking? 
If I'm not attacking, bombardment seems pretty useless, right? Just in case you wonder, I'm talking to the stream. And if you, uh, if you like me failing in this game and, and not knowing what I'm doing, you can also watch on Twitch and um, join us here in the discussion and help me be a little better. <laughs> okay, so first of all, what's, what shall we do? Let's bring the infantry forward, I guess. We need reinforcements in the north. Um, let's move you here. Those are Marder, okay, so pretty weak. Um, he only, oh, now I see what the he has, okay. So I see that he doesn't have any and any tanks here. So bringing up Marders is pretty useless until he brings in tanks himself. What kind of, yeah, I mean, it only has seven HE shells. So there's no point in bringing it forward too much. I can, I should probably get it into re a reserve position where it doesn't take them until the C phase to get into use. So I'm going to f move them. That is 12 kilometers. Okay. So I'm going to move them. Was that 12 and that's 21. That's eight kilometers. So I'm going to move them eight kilometers behind the front. that way and they are here at a crossroads so in case they somehow are able to push through they should be able to reinforce that question is i think i need to to retreat here i can't they don't have any infantry to fight just commanders and recon and a lot of artillery and i don't even have much infantry left to fight so this line is strong, but here in the north it's completely collapsing. I really need to bring in some reinforcements some more. Yeah, let's first of all let's choose something here. I think I'm gonna need a strong unit up here, but I can't put it here. Where do I have to? I have to start it where there is a kind of small flag here is the flag. I think that's the only point where I can send reinforcements, right? I don't see any other flag. Now here is a closer one. Okay. That's about it. <laughs> I don't see what else I could do. Okay, so they are all 10 points because they are very bad units. I don't think it... I mean, I could... I should probably mix them in with the better units and um, thus and mix better units in here to uh, to assist them because their machine guns still do damage but if that's everything they have is just those weak guys then they can be overrun if i have some stronger units in in between um, they might hold out a little longer i don't know okay so why is, are they so slow i guess because they are not on a road maybe yeah it seems that this can move a little further I still have it. So this is like I can also deploy AA. Where can I see how far they can engage? Is there any way to see the defense in perimeter? Because uh, deploying them here when it's too far away from the front doesn't seem to make any sense again. So it's like basically just guessing. If it's somewhat realistic, then it should basically be only around this here. A heavy anti-air has like a firing range of, what is it, um, vertically up like 12 kilometers. So seven, eight, nine maybe. Realistically, it shouldn't reach further than this maybe. But that means if it's here, in this position, I could probably suppress air, air attacks in all this area. Yeah, I know they are very good against tanks. The thing is, though, I need to deploy them forward and I need to deploy them where he has tanks. And currently, I don't think he has that many left right now. This is one. Okay, 18 of those. But it's um, artillery self-propelled. 18 of those oh my god that's a nightmare 
facing those guys. If I face them, I really need my Stukas. Um, no tank units here, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've checked the, the Russian campaign from the Russian side. They will send reinforcements and a metric arston of it. So at some point I have to face much of them. But what I... What is this here? Sicherungs unit, I guess. Pretty badly armored. Yeah. Um, I wonder why they are here, whether I'm facing, I'm going to face um, partisans. I'm not sure yet. Anyways, I need to progress somewhat and not just ramble around on the campaign map all the time. Um, the north needs reinforcements urgently and I think I need to pull back the artillery. What is this here? This is two of them, nine of those, Fusilier. Yeah, I, I, first of all, let's bring them here forward. If I put it away too far routed, what does that mean? It's like it's empty. So all of them are destroyed? Or do some of them come back? I have no idea. Because the unit is still in existence. And I think I deleted one of them, uh, one of their units here completely. So apparently that isn't deleted. Can I reinforce it later? I have no idea. That doesn't seem like much of a uh, much of um, much of use now. So let's pull that one back and pull those one forward, and then we can leave the artillery here for now. Question is, if I use it to bombard something, will that mean that this unit? is then going to, um, um, will that unit be able to attack me next turn regardless? It probably will. And will that unit, after having bombarded, be able to ad assist in an it when the other unit is attacked? That's the next question. Because I mean, it's still useful. I could just put them in the, into the, like, the last line and just bombard everything in front. Ah, God damn it. Decisions, decisions. So I'm going. I think I'm going to leave those two guys at here for now. I'm not sure whether I'm going to face partisans, but if I do, I don't want to um, be completely caught with my pants down. Tank units. Um, what do, what do we have here? That's just static. Uh, yeah, that's just Panzerschreck or Panzerfaust. Three. Oh, okay, they had three, eight, three um, pack forty, I guess. Yeah, or even pack forty three. Okay. So they should be fine on this side. They have some anti-tank capabilities as well. That one seems pretty weak, though. They are dug in, so I shouldn't move them. Those ones, though. Let's move them somewhat closer. That is, oh, that's an anti-tank, tank destroyer battalion, okay. Actually have T-26s here. Some Russian uh, captured tanks, not too many of them though. And a lot of pack 40s okay. So they should be more than enough. Is that artillery regiment? Okay. So I need to bring those guys closer in as well. Question is, again, do I have to face partisans? But I guess I'll find out. Um, I leave them dug in. Do I want to bombard them? Does any one of you guys watching know if I bombard something here now? Um, will that unit be able to help this one when it's attacked in the next turn? Um, where? Ah, okay. It's starting in the north because the unit, the division is in the north. So I'm going to send those guys here up because they need reinforcements. And obviously I can't easily mix the different units. 
that's realistic because obviously the units are supposed to fight coherently but yeah we need reinforcements in the north and we need it fast so we have 15 points left now which means I can either bring in one of the tank units or one, two, three to one points so three all of those here won't do anything the next turn And um, so if I bombard this unit now, it can't attack next turn. Is that right? And the other thing is, can that unit itself fight? It probably also can't. Everything out of range. Okay, so let's bring this artillery forward. Let's bring that anti-aircraft forward. No, I already did. Okay. Um, those guys are staying here for now. Those are another unit of martyrs. Let's bring them... hope that should be enough so let's bring them here somewhere so they are closer on the other hand okay yeah I forgot about that obviously he can bombard my unit then if it's too close and then it can't can't um, fight itself that's actually pretty nice if you think about it because it me means that um, bringing the unit deploying the units forward to be able to um, bring them into battle fast at the same time means that it's um, it can be bombarded which is obviously completely realistic so um, okay let's start some more systematically what, what am I going to take as another unit um, that one was with a lot of anti air storm division was without anti air I think but a lot of good units or I could bring in the the planes no let's not do that let's bring in the Panzergrenadier division first should be mobile and thus I can reinforce the units more easy in the back um, where it's needed Kay. gonna put them forward as for now somewhere in this area here so I can deploy them where they're needed okay so I use those points what can I do in the north I think I've done almost everything I can bringing those forward I could bombard them now the question is I'm not sure but I think they can't help them so I, I don't even know whether in the afternoon turn a unit can fight again if it has already fought in the morning, probably can't. Let's just try it. No, I can't bombard those. That is the only one I can bombard. Let's not bombard them. That is also artillery. That one can bombard this. Let's do that. I'm not sure whether it's making much of a difference. Do they kill anything? I don't say, I think so. Okay, and that one can bombard this guy. Yeah. No. Yes, okay. Good. Um, we want to probably bombard that artillery unit if we can. We can't. Does he ha they have longer range? They don't. Those are all at zero, so I don't think they can be of any use now. That one is only at one. Let's leave that. What about this guy? He can bombard here and he can't really. No, wait, that's another unit. Can he bombard? Yes, he can. Okay. But that one is, is staying. 
combat ready, I think. Okay, so this one has a good range. Anything I can bombard here? We have Guards Rifle Regiment with actually not that many units. Mm. Ah, here it is strength, okay. So that one is stronger. Eleven. That's the strongest. Let's bombard that one then. Can't. They are dug in, they... what could they bombard? Okay, they can bombard a lot. Let's bombard... Those guys here? And they can bombard those. I, mean, I think from what I understand we are basically playing on time. So the longer I can hold them back the better. Which means if I just if I bombard a unit that doesn't attack, obviously it's not getting weakened if the bombardment itself doesn't take out units. But that means that um, I gain time because they can't push me in this very turn, and that's what we are aiming for. We're not aiming to kill as many of them as possible. Obviously, we want that too, but in general, we play on time. Okay, so they have moved forward. Yeah, do I want to? Do a counter attack anywhere? I could probably attack here because the only units that can be deployed here are those two, I guess. But I mean, unless they run away just because they are at zero, they are still stronger than mine, and I don't think they are going to run away. And but they could dug in, dig in. Maybe that's possible. That could. Okay, you are dug in. You are dug in. You can't. Why does he have an orange thing and this one doesn't? I don't get it. Because they, they, I think they are both stuck in. That's what that thing here means. Okay, so I'm dug in everyone here. Bombard. Yeah, not much to bombard. Okay, I think we we are basically. Oh yeah, this one air recall. Ah, this is the circle. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but those look like dug in as well, and they don't have that orange thing. That's why I was kind of curious. I think I should check on the north. What was that? Orsha, and the second one is Tolochin. Okay, so that one I mustn't lose, and that one I shouldn't lose. Um, where do I want recon? Probably in the north to know whether um, he's sending tank reinforcements here or whatever. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, they can still dug in. Dig in, dig in, okay. Thanks for the help. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's all I can do here. I could send these security units forward, but I don't think I need them that urgently. And i rather have them here in case um, any partisans show up. That's about it. I don't think I can do that much. So let's just finish the turn. Okay. Sturmgeschütz Bataillon 189 is available. Okay, and they are pushing forward. Where is it? Here. Okay, so can I see? I can't see who is attacking me. Yeah. I just see who might be attacking me. And planes might still come. So this is... No tanks. No tanks. No. No. 
no some and yeah that was the self-propelled artillery okay that unit that unit is um, well Stukas the problem is I want to use them mostly against tanks and against infantry their use is somewhat limited artillery is probably more useful there because um, Stukas are, are more effective I think against armor targets they should be or at least more useful I mean they're they surely are effective but um, it, it might they might be of better use against tanks okay so Sturmschützen, Schützenführer five I think yeah those have suffered losses but not many That's the unit that forced, fought the last battle, right? I think so. Okay. Um, thought regiment. What is this? A lot of recon. Commander. Infantry guns. That That was the area where we had... I think that was the one where we had like hills to fire down from. That might be really nice for infantry guns. So we should definitely use this one. And Panzerbüchse is very nice um, against those small half tracks and stuff like this. So we are going to use this one here. And the other question is, are we going to call in the, uh, the bombers or not? But I don't think so. Um... Yeah, let's actually bring in a lot of artillery. Whatever, let's try that. Player, player, tactical battle. And I get something to drink real quick and be right back. Okay, yep, it's the same map. So we can use the units. Oh yeah, and we can check. They actually get the same art guns back even after losing them in the first time. That's really helpful. Good to know. Okay, so gun pits for the infantry guns. 2000 range. Now we're going to use them excessively. Okay, first uh, machine gun. That was uh, is a very useful position here. Like this. And the pack had proven has proven to be extremely useful here. Um, can they be placed here? They can. problem is he will have artillery so everything I forward deploy here will probably be lost after some time but I guess that's just part of the deal so everything can be deployed right away how much is the artillery here three points okay so I can like every minute I can get three more 150 millimeter howitzers <laughs> <laughs> I think I should be able to, to rain down some fire on those guys. Okay, let's first set up the uh, the defensive positions again. We want another 50 millimeter flanking here, I guess. On the other hand, I, I'm not going to face tanks in any significant number, I think. So we are going to try this again. Everyone who's pushing forward will be... Um, fought by that anti-tank gun and this is by the way the first battle where which I haven't even played once anymore so we'll have to see I think that position here is decent for another light anti-tank gun um, question is am I going to fight for this but I don't think so so range is 2000 as well let's put a 50 millimeter here 
No, let's put that one here. Okay. Mm. Here one. No. Let's put a machine gun here. The 37 should probably be ideally used for to fire into the flanks of lightly armored vehicles or to shoot at enemy troop transports. Okay, let's put how many 50 millimeters do we have? Two more. Now let's put another 75 up here. I don't think it's gonna be of much use. But let's put it, uh, I don't think we're gonna need it a lot, but let's put it here regardless. And that one could shoot like over here. And there's a usually a lot coming here. Okay, let's put a gun pit here. And one infantry gun. You don't need a heavy one. 75 is perfectly fine with that. Another gun pit. What is it here? 2000 okay. range would still be fire able to fire up there. It's actually, I don't think, do I need a gun pit here? I mean, if he bombards it with artillery, even a gun pit won't help for long. And I don't think he's ha he has any tanks, so at max range there's not much I'm gonna face except for artillery. Okay. Gun pit, gun pit. Let's put one here. And um, it's all felt all bits and okay. Okay. Um, That one can shoot in every direction. It's a little too far forward though. But it's 1000 meters away from the rest. Yeah, I, th I should probably be less greedy and deploy it a little more sensible as in flanking position, like here. And you always have to be careful because if you're coming too close and trying to deploy and hit that button, the battle starts. I've had that before. That's quite uncomfortable, especially in a case like this where I want to uh, not you not reload all the time. Okay, good. Let's stick to the fortifications first, um, or for a little more. We have that one up here. Let's put. What is it here? Where can they shoot? You can shoot up. It's a little too close to that pack. And I mean, if I just want to use them up here, this should be a little protection from you. Yeah, let's put one here. Another infantry, no, let's put a heavy one here. And, um, so this field is covered. I need some more here. But I have artillery support here. What is open is completely open is this here. I want to hold that line here. I have some support fire down here, but not I couldn't can just deploy artillery. That's also another option. Um probably The unfortunate thing is that I can't shoot over that um, forest because the hill is too slow, too low. How about from here? Not really.
Mm, yeah, 2,000 meters, so it can just shoot up to here. And that's when the infantry is already fully engaged. We want a little them a little closer. We have that one to shoot up here. Um, that one is only 2,000. That's also too close. Yeah, no. We need, a, uh, we need the artillery somewhat closer. Let's put that one here. And that one up here. That's that one we are not going to use. A little too close to this. I mean, this might be a decent position, but it's too close to the uh, the forest here. Where do we have fields of fire? I think this one is the best bet. Let's just put one in here. Is it still in the forest? No, it isn't. Okay. Let's move that one a little further up here. Good. Okay, you can only shoot up till here. Let's put that get that out again. Now it's in the forest. Okay, so infantry gun here. And um, we need to put the guns a little apart to make it less easy for him to use his artillery. But on the other hand, that would be a good machine gun position. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, the pack. This here is forest, and we can shoot up there. Well, that's better than nothing, I guess. Okay, let me see. So he has field of fire in case they are breaking through here. That doesn't seem that bad. Okay like uh, this yeah in case they are breaking through he has a short field a little too short probably but uh, that seems at least better than the alternative and I think the 37 will mostly be useless anyways I would have to deploy them extremely forward and hope that it can sh shoot a few units before they unload but as soon as it's discovered the usefulness will diminish sharply Okay, which one is this? This this is the other seventy five. Okay. Seventy five has some HE usage. No, what? It only has AP shells. Strange. I was sure they have HE shells as well. Okay, so I, I basically probably won't need them at all. Okay, that means I can like deploy them here in the hope that I'm shooting something before it closes in. Because it seem, they seem to be pretty useless anyways. Where am I going to put the last um, machine gun? Here is one. Here is one. Here is one. Here probably. Yep. Let's put that one here. A flanking 70, uh, 37 because it seems with only AP, as said. I think what I'm facing was probably not going to need much AP. 50 millimeter, we've got two more of them so that's I don't know I mean completely wasting them doesn't seem to make too much sense either so putting them forward too much is never such a good idea so like this machine gun for instance it should better be positioned like 300, 400, 500 meters behind the main infantry line. But I don't want them to dig in here. So that one is basically too close. But uh, it covers a huge field of fire, which is good in the offensive. 
because it can shoot a lot, but which is bad because it can be shot from a lot of directions as well. So that positioning isn't ideal. Okay, but long story short, where put it? I don't know, maybe here, somewhere? For a flanking fire? I don't know. Really don't know. Mm. in case oh, we already have one here okay we do we have a, a little weakness of anti-tank guns in this area so let's just put one here in the background as a backup like to, to stop breakthroughs and um, this is a 75 and one like here in the flank maybe It's really. Uh, let's just put it here as well. Okay, trenches. So my idea is that they can close in from behind from the forests, have a place to re retreat to. But I think they should be safer in a trench than in a forest. That at least would make sense. Because a trench cover... Trees are some cover, but obviously it's better if you're in a hole in the ground, if you're shot at, than um, just in the open um, with, with some trees to, to make you less visible. So we're just putting the trenches in front of all of this here on the slopes here on the slopes and one in front of the anti-tank gun um, just a backup one here maybe and in case they're coming very hard let's put some here as well uh, we could probably put some here Uh, nope, doesn't work. Okay, um, trenches are up here. I mean, the thing is, I can't charge them in. Um, so if I have a trench here, and they are already in sight, I won't get them into the trench alive. So the trench has to be close to some cover. Or maybe I have to create a full trench system where they can go into the trench and then march forward through that. That would be the only option I can see where trenches are of a, um, use in out in the open. Uh, I don't think I actually... Oh, <laughs> it's only 29 meters left. Okay. So... Um, let's take that away. And then we have 200 left. And this center line, they might come a lot from down here. And here I have the buildings for cover. Here I have a lot of um, mountains, um, hills and trees for cover. Here is definitely a weak point in some ways, unless I get a crossfire, a good one. I think this will also be a lot of a lot contested. And I think I might prepare myself to defend here in case they break through here okay barbed wire basically just the whole front line well, I think we have like six kilometers if I'm not completely wrong which means that this should cover most of it We need one here to stop them closing in. And one here. Now we have 200 meters left. That's, um, hmm. 
thing is if I pos position it in front of the trees and then they are s longer in cover mm. yeah I'm gonna fight for this position probably in between here no here is already some Let's just put it here. Okay, good. Stabs company, where do I need recon? Everywhere. So let's put one here. Um, first company, recon. You're going here into the trees. Heavy machine gun. Uh, this is a little far off from the trees. There's no point in putting it 50 meters away from them. Why can't I... Wait. Ah, oh, no. I thought I can't delete them anymore. Click it is. Okay, let's check whether they are too far off here as well. Could be closer, I guess. If I position them outside the tree line, there is no point in having them run unnecessarily far. That one is pretty close, that's close, and that one is in the open, but as intended. Okay, back to the mission. Um, machine gun, heavy machine gun here. And one on that flank. What is their range? 1,500. No, actually one here. They can shoot as soon as they break through here without being shot at. That seems like a good idea. Actually, we're going to do the same with that one here. We are putting that trench like here. And this also means that if it's here and they have 1500 range, that they can shoot them as soon as they start crossing the, the um, barbed wire, which slows them down significantly. So they don't see the, uh, the machine gun before they close in. And at their most vulnerable point, they reach the field of fire. That is ideal. The better would be obviously to have them closer a little bit, but that would require micromanagement and I'm not known to be the greatest at that. So I adjust my positioning to my abilities, which seems like a good choice. Um, that is already in the area of the second division. Yeah, but they only have one heavy machine gun left. Okay. Good. Um, here it could shoot up here. Yeah, let's position it here at first. I can always bring it up somewhat. Um, okay. Mortar. Here and here. Infantry, one, two, three, one here, and one here, and one here, and that one is the second one, and we are going to use them here. Answer Shrek is probably not needed, but let's bring one up. Okay, second line. 
recon. We already got a recon unit here. Just park it here in the open. Its stealth is good, so it should have some ability. Or do they have like a good recon? Beobachter. I think the Beobachter should should be able to call in artillery strikes. I'm not completely sure about that, but um, let's not rely on that right away. So Schützenführer, I want him to be at the crossroad. That would probably be here. Schütze, Schütze, well, let's put Sturmschützen here. Yep, the heavy artillery won't be forgotten. Um, yeah, we need to spread it out a little. Sturmschützen here. Another Schützen unit, I don't know. Somewhere here. The problem is, I'm, I'm, I think my unit selection has been pretty bad because those aren't infantry units that's a little bit of machine guns and that's basically it so though those that is every infantry i have left i really need to make maximum use of my artillery or i'll be in deep shit you here and I think, if possible, I give them a reload truck right away. And the third company, I think I won't be able to bring in the the artillery, the heavy artillery, right from the beginning. But that shouldn't be necessary. I can always use the first. Um, and that might actually be a good position for them here. I can always use the first units... Um, the first points I have to bring in more. So there is nothing here. That one is in this trench. Let's put one here and one here. You go here. Sturmschützen, I don't know, here. And another unit like. Uh, a you stay here in reserve. You go up here. And you stay somewhat in reserve. And you are going to, s to help them from here. Yeah, and that's it. We're out of points. Okay, so what is left? Panzerschreck, I won't need that one. And the Schützenführer, I need to bring that one in first. But after that, I can get the um, artillery and I think the flak would be useful against the uh, in masses of infantry that I have to expect but I think apart from my weakness in infantry which is probably th going to challenge me the most I now made the best out of what I have 36 more meters of barbed wire well where could I put it I don't know thing also is I wonder whether trying to fight against that for that one when I only when I'm facing so much infantry whether that's a good idea I really have to try to keep an eye on that one and um, retreat as soon as I face too too big of yeah, well that's basically useless I have to retreat as soon as I see that I'm facing uh, big numbers okay let's immediately slow down and have them all unload. Unload. Okay. The only units I want to actively redeploy are those here. They are going a little forward, not too far. And I need to set them at efficient shot every 37. Do I can I select a few more now? Okay, where was where were additional ones? Infantry gun. Can't even remember where I had them all. Okay, um, yeah, the 
75 probably efficient shot as well efficient shot efficient shot every one of you guys wait i put the 75 here okay that might turn out to be a mistake it's too far forward deployed but okay and i want you to you can move a little to the side and you could move here so you're not that easily destroyed and you're more easy to select okay let's start let's go and we have air recon okay so anti-air will be the next thing i bring in oh my god i just hope he doesn't bring all the his stukas uh his his stumovics but it looks like it it's that unit Ooh. Mm. And if w if he recons, that means that my artillery is being spotted. God damn it, that's not gonna end well. Okay, we need to deploy anti-air as fast as we possibly can. Okay, you are going to move up here. There comes the first airstrike, and he's going on my... Mm, yeah. Yeah, um, you need to go here. And the artillery is striking me as well. Fuck. Okay, where does he shoot from? Here. Can't see. Wait, Sonder Kfz destroyed? No. Okay, where is he bombarding me from? Don't see it. Okay, I can't just be defensive. Let's deploy. Oh, good. He's in range. And the other anti air somewhere here, probably. No idea. But I need to. Ah, uh, it's probably too far forward. And you are. Why are you going over the road? You're going directly here, please. Pin down, pin down is going to get destroyed. Oh my god. That's not going to end well. I need to do something about that recon. Okay, artillery battery. It has like how much range? Every range. So I can deploy it where I want. Okay, you are going to go here. Three of you. And fourth one here infantry gun under attack okay unload and you go into that is there some cover for you yeah here okay bombard Bombard. Wait, I didn't send any infantry here? I forgot to send any infantry here. Oh my fuck. God. That's a nightmare. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess I have to redeploy somehow. Try to save something. Um, artillery. Unload. Let's give them quick numbers. Um, bombard. What? Uh, halt. What the fuck was that? Okay, you are unit two. Does it work? Yes, it does. Okay. You are going to bombard that one. And so are you. You are unit three. And I think you guys are going to focus on counter battery. That was it.
bombard bombard okay everything fine here but they have been attacked as well the anti-air can you like do something here no clear sight okay. I guess I ne need to deploy it somewhere forward which means it can be shot at by artillery that's but that I guess that's a risk I have to take okay. bombard them again can you please shoot them here and you as well like somewhere in here and he's bombarding my my okay it survived what does the anti-aircraft do unload I don't think it has good view from here can't see how it's in the air but probably not what is the counter battery fire doing hmm not that convincing so far from what I see is this NKVD okay I think I should leave the NKVD alone because it's more likely to shoot their own ones if it's realistic uh, let's bring in the next battery okay anti-air do you shoot Probably not even in range, right? Yes, they are. Okay, he's shooting. But hitting it too late and the machine gun is gone. Okay, so this is an, an utter disaster because I'm going to lose the whole flank. I, I simply have no infantry left. What the fuck did I think? This would be a case where I would reload in a single player the problem is I haven't even made a safe copy of the safe game so I can't reload I would have to play the replay the first two battles but yeah that was completely um, a big mistake on my part because I simply didn't realize that I I'm only sending one infantry unit and that was a unit that already had suffered losses and as we can see that pack is now gonna get crushed and I have I don't even have anything to send except for some leader oh yeah and my infantry oh and I have more pack here for fuck's sake and uh, more flak two at least okay so let's bring that one like I don't know here and that one where's the first one here um, let's bring that here okay let's put those as one and those as two and you guys are three and you guys are four one mortar is gone okay so that side that side is completely holding and with the machine guns moving up I might be able to hold that center after all let's bring in a commander as well you unload maybe you can even open fire on him in time pin down can they shoot it down at least that would be nice I mean it's taking a lot of damage engine overheating no, it's, I think it got away damn it okay. unload Uh, what, what, what? That was a mistake. Okay, um, yeah, you unload as well. It's a little far off. I think I need to move that one into that forest here. 
Is he attacking it now? Yeah, he's attacking the anti-aircraft gun now. God damn it. <laughs> pinned down only, at least only pinned down. Pilot injured, come on, please shoot it down. Nope, it's getting away again. Okay, so that flak at least is, is fighting. But they are running out of ammo too, if it continues this way. And they have, like, they were pushing forward here. That's not looking good. Not looking good at all. Okay, so... 22 minutes we have to hold out with the units that you, uh, we have. That is a lot. And he's already out of ammo. Okay, we need to bring in an ammo truck. I don't see how I could avoid that. And we need to use the artillery we have. Um... I don't have a recon plane, I should have brought some some recon. Um, the anti-aircraft, yeah, I have three guns now in the center. And I don't have any more, so I can't even do anything else. Just hope, have to hope that they will be enough. I mean, three of them are firing on that guy now. Come on, shoot it down. Can you please, I lost one plane after the other, can you guys please? shoot one of them down as well. I know it's only 20 millimeter, it's in an IL-2, which is supposed to be really tough. But that was disappointing, and at some point they will run out of ammo too. Okay, so three anti-aircraft here, one here. Not that much. Uh, unload. Okay, mortar. Ah, you doesn't, don't have ammo anymore. Okay, unit one. Fired position this year. Whatever. I need to hold them back. The problem is really that I don't have any recon. But what we can do now is basically, this would be an option. Good stealth cargo space, heavy. Okay, I want to check if this is actually now a unit to call in airstrikes, uh, to call in bombardment. I think it should be, but I'm not completely sure. Okay, so he pinned down that one. Need to bring the flak forward more. Hmm. Oh, okay. That that makes sense, that they make artillery more accurate. I think it's still Division 1, right? Where you can use them for... Um, uh, to, to call in airstrikes themselves. Okay, so if they make artillery more accurate, can you guys please shoot something down now? <laughs> it's really like it's frightening the living shit out of me, getting that air raid siren. And he's going for the anti-air, isn't he? Maybe I can do enough damage that his shooting is inaccurate, or I don't know. Oh yeah. No, he dropped. Can you please shoot? Oh, we shot one down! No, he, and he didn't even drop on... on oh, oh. Okay. So, and there come two airstrikes at once now. Are they going for the anti-air or for the truck? No, they went for the... Wait, which one? No, oh, for the anti-air. And it's destroyed. Can you please shoot that one down at least? Be nice if I got a kill. He's already striking the next one. Okay. Forward air observer, should it be the unit that calls in airstrikes? Okay, um, artillery. Fired position this year. Second one. Fired position this year. I don't care. We need to put out some artillery fire because at some point 
doesn't make se that much sense to not use them if I have them. And it seems that he's exclusively lose using bombers right now. And so far I haven't seen that I shot down more than just one. Nope, no more AA guns. I said that was a pretty, pretty bad setup from my side. Far too little infantry. I mean the artillery is so far is holding back I guess. Um, when we look at the positions, I haven't lost a single one that I didn't want to hold. That one I actually wanted to fight for as well and f apparently I didn't have enough units anymore. But what, as we can see, the units are still, uh, that is still, um, well now, now he got it. That was still in my hand. This one is lost because I, I didn't have enough units. And forgot to position them here, which was just like unexcusable. Um, do I need even need to concentrate on that? I'm not sure. There's so many, but he he apparently doesn't have much artillery either, uh, much infantry. Yeah, he's he's bombarding the shit out of me, and I should just send them into the deep forest. I think they can walk in there, which should provide them more stealth. Where do do the shells come from? I don't see it. Probably held his fire again. Enemy contact. Contact. Oh shit. Can you please take those guys out? I mean, those are pinned down. It shouldn't be an issue now. Okay, you seem to be winning. That one is now getting in. Okay. Uh, oh, no, they were destroyed. <laughs> no good news from this side. Okay, but this should hold it for at least for somewhat. I should get in like a recon unit if I can. Uh, no, I don't. But I can get more uh, machine guns, at least something. Um, I don't know, send one here. But yeah, I mean that artillery and the aircraft seems to be pretty useless. Unless I am able to shoot one down, they are so rugged that they just fly through them. So I, I need to concentrate them apparently. Yeah, that's the only thing I can do, is concentrate the units in hope that they can do enough damage. But he's going for the next uh, anti-aircraft unit. And with just one probably destroy it now. Yep. Fuck. Okay. Can you like at least shoot it down? Nope. Okay, so I'm losing all my AA. But at least they haven't pushed in too hard yet. And he is reloaded for now at least. That's uh, I don't know. They still have shells left, okay. Yeah, let's just bombard that entry point. Maybe I'm holding them back in some way this by doing so. Probably just need to shell their put the positions that they can that they are assaulting me from. Mm, I don't know. Somewhere here. Actually, the bad thing is if they have visible range, the um, target area is pretty close. But here, in, in if I'm like just bombarding their... Ah, okay. If I'm just bombarding the positions they... Um, um, they are approaching from, I, w I would prefer a wider range. Ah, okay. <laughs> He's going for my artillery now. Not a big surprise. Ah, he's going. He's using his own artillery for that. Okay. Only one anti-air left on this flank and one on this one. No, is it gone? Where is it? Can't see it. Apparently, he destroyed it. 
looks like it okay um, you bombard that one not that it would help I don't think he has any chance of destroying it unload go forward yeah he doesn't have anything useful so um, 13 minutes I need to hold out for another major defeat for the Russians. No clue whether that's possible or not. Um, we can bring in more artillery though. If I have it, there's no point in not using it. Let's spread them out enough. Um, that's those. Batterieführer. Ah, here is Aufklärer. Okay. Okay, I lost uh, 150. He's bombarding that. That's, that doesn't look nice. Napalm, uh, apparently. Ooh, who's shooting at them? Ah, that end here. Okay. It's kind of frustrating that apparently not even the machine guns, nobody is shooting from the ground. I mean, in a case like this, everyone would, would start shelling them at least as soon as he spotted. But yeah, and recon over me all the time and I can't even shoot it down. Okay, um, is there anything you guys can shell? He's what he's taken out. Okay. Okay, you guys are unit five and you are unit six. And you can unload. You move here. You unload. 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 Five. Okay, didn't work for whatever reason. Control 5 and Control 6. Let's try that one. Okay, mortar. We need some mortar fire here. That mortar is taken out. We lost one here too. So that unit is basically gone now. This unit, maybe they can hold for long enough. 10 more minutes. Um, remaining should be the overall time, right? Until the battle ends. No, as we are in phase three, I think. I think. Where is it? I can't even see it correctly. Yeah, but I think it's it's. That's it. Okay, so they are holding here. That's fine. That's holding too. That's holding as well. This is getting into trouble. We should send some support. Um, what do we have? Nothing. <laughs> uh, we have some more mortars. Okay. I don't know. Just move here. And um, here probably. Okay, they're falling back. The machine gun bunker is still in operation. I don't know. I might actually have them shoot here. two guns can now open fire but they are on the fire themselves and they are getting short on oh damn it who is shelling them I can't even see where it comes from up here somewhere okay so exactly here yeah okay what is the position? T? Yeah. 6, T, 4, T, 3, T, 
and 2T because one is currently shooting those guys. You're holding, they are holding. Oh, we're actually still holding the front line. I might, I might suffer losses, but while I'm whining all the time, um, the mission objective is still... Well, they are still holding. Regardless of what I might complain about. Oh, he's out of ammo, too bad. Well, I actually managed to save that guy. So he can charge in and reload it. If he survives this. Yeah, he's not gonna get it. He's not getting attacked. <laughs> and that anti-air is just wasting ammo. It's not like he's gonna do any achieve anything a single 20 millimeter. Maybe there's some RNG where I get a lucky hit and a unit uh, plane drops de dead because, I don't know, I killed the pilot or something. That might be an option. Uh, another unit gone. I should spread them out more. They need to, like, you go back here and then move forward and then go into that. They're getting they are too, too much of an easy target this close together. Machine gun, move here. Mortar is ready, perfect. Bombard. Bombard. Mm. Where's the other artillery I called? Here? Okay. Um, shoot up here. Can't remember where I've ordered the other one to go. It probably was destroyed. Or why don't I see it? Guess it got destroyed on the way. Because I don't see any other mortar. Oh well. Okay, he's out of ammo. So, I have an ammo track here actually. Yeah. We need artillery fire here urgently. They are getting overrun. Okay. You are shooting here. Where are they being shot from? Still from up here. See it. Well, this is getting closer here, but I hope this one will hold. Um, let's fire this position. Oh, and you can please go back here. Um, what is it? Move fast. Move here. Yeah, that's gonna become a problem the uh, the his air attacks just crush them but I win in 122 that's actually pretty awesome I hadn't thought that I have a chance of holding that when I realized what I'm facing okay you guys I want you to destroy something while I still can can you please like do that you can bombard that one I think I lost two 150s bad but I in the overall uh, yeah and that one got hit as well okay shoot it and um, you actually can just bombard that forest here and you can shoot up here Does he have anything to shoot at? No. Actually, 20 seconds. That's a win. <laughs> Who would have thought that? But I think I have a major victory in 20 seconds, in 10 seconds. Didn't Doesn't feel like it, to be honest. But their victory point system allows me to claim victory after all. Yep, that's it major victory okay last time i had like what was it 200 kills and six losses something around that <laughs> not quite i actually suffered more losses no i i still inflicted more kills than losses what as a defender i i'm supposed to um 
let's see, Schützen, Puck. Yeah, the Puck has killed a lot, a lot of them again. I think that might have been one of the, the Puck I have on that hill shooting to the left. Yeah, but that's not too impressive. So who has killed something? Artillery, artillery, IL-2. Not that much in general. Wow, awesome. So yeah, that's it. Um, I'm calling it a day, at least for now. I hope, despite me whining about how bad my decisions are, the battle was still fun to watch. We learned something, I guess. Both, at least I learned something. Maybe you already knew it that um, like you need tons of infantry all the time and that's already the turn okay so I can take a little more time so what I need to do is get those forces probably back to refresh if that's possible let's see well, what, what does he have they don't refresh fully right yeah I mean there's only two companies left this one is a hundred percent this is 49 45 I don't think in in the former games uh, war game versions you ha you were able to pay and have them refresh this time you lose everything at all so a unit that is like this recon unit that I used here which has basically hardly any plane left that um, will stay that useless and if in a battle you choose to, to um, deploy it then you deploy hardly anyone so I guess I need to urgently feed reinforcements to that one because while it still has units I could use it and as we've seen I probably wouldn't have needed both of both those artillery units which they basically were but surprisingly enough it still was a victory even though the losses are now big enough that yeah, I will need to pull them out of the line or at least reinforce them until they are completely crushed to some point. I will need to dig in a lot more, I will need to bring in more and we'll have to make decisions on which units to call because as we can see I can now like call in Stuck a lot of additional Sturmgeschütze um, the Panzer Grenadier, the Panzer Abteilung, no, Panzer Bataillon, I have one here, Air Force, still no new units, okay. So anyways, those are rushing up and will hopefully reach it fast enough, but we can see they, they are pushing in here. I, I'm not sure what we'll have to do, I mean the artillery is so exposed, I'm kind of scared about them. Um, we might be forced to, to withdraw into the forests and build a new front line somewhere around here. But if we don't hold this, yeah, I think I will need to reinforce the northern front with that, the, those units to prevent them from crushing that flank, because then they could just flood in here and, and surround Orsha. But those are decisions I will have to make in the next battle. As said, I think I'm going to call it a day now. I hope you enjoyed it after all. Um, if you did so, please uh, consider following and subscribing. Every one of those battles is streamed on Twitch, where you can find me on twitch.tv slash And um, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. See you next time.